you for joining with me. We are in the Manual for Teachers. This is Section 27, What is the Resurrection? If you'll please join me in prayer. Dear Father, if left to my own devices, my perception will be skewed. I surrender to you everything that I think and feel. God, please take my past, plan my future, send your spirit to redeem my mind that I might be set free. May I be your channel, God, and serve the world. May I become who you would have me be, do what you would have me do, go where you would have me go, and say what you would have me say, and to whom, dear God. God, I thank you for my many, many blessings. Amen. All right, here we go. 28. What is the resurrection? Very simply, the resurrection is the overcoming or surmounting of death. We'll go to footnote 218. The term resurrection here refers to the state in which our learning is complete, having let go of all vestiges of the belief in death, our mind has been reborn. And in this resurrected state, we await God's final step, which will lift us out of time and into heaven. This section is therefore not about the resurrection of Jesus. However, we can assume that the reason his resurrection happened is because he reached the state described in this section. The resurrection is a reawakening or a rebirth, a change of mind about the meaning of the world. It is the acceptance of the Holy Spirit's interpretation of the world's purpose, the acceptance of the atonement for oneself. It is the end of dreams of misery and the glad awareness of the Holy Spirit's final dream. It is the recognition of the gifts of God. It is the dream in which the body functions perfectly, having no function except communication. It is the lesson in which learning ends, for it is consummated and surpassed with this. It is the invitation to God to take his final step. It is the relinquishment of all other purposes, all other interests, all other wishes, and all other concerns. It is the single desire of the Son for the Father. The resurrection is the denial of death being the assertion of life. Thus is all the thinking of the world reversed entirely. Life is now recognized as salvation and pain and misery of any kind perceived as hell. Love is no longer feared but gladly welcomed. Idols have disappeared and the remembrance of God shines unimpeded across the world. Christ's face is seen in every living thing and nothing is held in darkness apart from the light of forgiveness. There is no sorrow still upon the earth. The joy of heaven has come upon it. Here the curriculum ends. From here on, no directions are needed. Vision is wholly corrected and all mistakes undone. Attack is meaningless as peace has come. The goal of the curriculum has been achieved. Thoughts turn to heaven and away from hell. All longings are satisfied for what remains unanswered or incomplete. The last illusion spreads over the world, forgiving all things and replacing all attack. The whole reversal is accomplished. Footnote 219, after this point, the rest of the section is in iambic, iambic pentameter. Nothing is left to contradict the word of God. There is no opposition to the truth. And now the truth can come at last. How quickly will it come as it is asked to enter and envelop such a world? And I will stop there for today. Section 28, the first half, paragraphs 1 through 3, what is the resurrection? Thank you so much for joining with me. I love you. Have a beautiful day.